What's up guys, how's life? Fred here and today I'm going to show you how you can create this 3D text here. It's not just 3D, it's also distorted as you can see, it also looks like a little bit glitchy, it has also this outer glow effect and there's actually so much more going on and you will learn how to create that from zero. So let's get started. Let's go to Photoshop and the first thing we need to do is of course we need to create text. Like that's logical. So let's just grab our T text tool and then just press here, click once and then try, try, type, nope, nope. And also make sure it's all capital letters, okay. Now let's just press, if, if it looks different for you, you have different font, different color, no problem, just press okay. So now let's change the font, the colors and other stuff. So first of all, let's close this. You need this panel called uh, character. If you don't have it here, just go to window and find it here. Okay, just click on it. It's that simple. So the font that I'm going to use is a railway, but of course you can use also other fonts. For example, I'm using railway black. This is actually a font that you need to download. It's not usually installed on your laptop. And you can just, it's a free font, so you can go online and easily find it. And the color that I'm using, if you want the exact color, so I'm going to be, I'm going to use this color here. You can just copy this code if you want it. Okay, let's press OK. So now when we did that, let's take our move tool, take our text and place it somewhere in the middle. Approximately, should be fine. Now open layer, layer, <laughs> now open your layers, make sure you have text selected, go to 3D and here you have new 3D extrusion from selected layer. Press it. It asks us if you want to switch to 3D uh, workspace and yes, the answer is yes, we want to. So now when you do that, everything is going to change, but don't freak out, okay? The thing is that Photoshop has really cool 3D um, tools, but most people never use it just because I guess they're too afraid to do that. <laughs> because you know, everything like is different and they're like, ah, what is happening? They don't ask, especially people who have never worked with 3D. So. What's actually happening? First of all, we see here our text and the cool thing is that uh, Photoshop automatically created already a depth for our text. So for example, make sure you have selected this tool here, okay? And now if we just go somewhere here, we just press and drag, see what's going to happen. We can see our text from different views. That's awesome. So what we want to do is actually right now, we want to make it look somewhere like this, something like that. So make sure you have this selected and then you can just press and drag. And also when you do that, make sure you don't just click on the text itself, just somewhere here, okay? So, oops, oops, oops. So for example, what was happening right now, when I click and drag, right now I'm texting, right now I'm changing my view, but if you want to change the text, you have to go here, and here you're going to have knob or whatever you wrote, just click on it, and now you can actually change the way the text looks, okay? So this something like that, make sure yes, we see the back, make sure we see the top and this should be fine. So now, um, what do we, what can we do actually else? So if you go here, you will see on properties, when your text is selected, go to properties and here you're going to see shape preset. Here you have different presets and you can select for example this thing here, you can select something else and it's going to look different. We, don't, we just don't see it because we are too, for, too zoomed, uh, too far away, so I just, you know, zoom in a little bit and if you go here right now see what's going to happen you see it's now a little bit like rounded i would say but this is nothing nope nope you can also try some other cool stuff but what i'm actually going to use is um let's see is this one here because that's what i was using in my original project it's rounded like this now let's continue because we're just starting guys so let's now go here here in properties you're going to have a third parameter just click on it this actually helps us to change the, basically the extrusion of our text. And by that, I mean, you see this rounded thing. For example, if you go here, you see angle. If you just make it to the left, see what's going to happen. You see, it changes. Now the extrusion is going inside the text. So it's a little bit difficult to understand, but you will understand. Just, just press it, like bring it to the left, to the right, and you will see. Or for example, the strength, let's bring it to the right and see what's going to happen. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> So yeah, don't make it this too much. I mean, this should be somewhere around 10. 
We have also a width and angle here. For example, if I increase the width, see what's going to happen. You see? And from the borders, it gets different and angle as well. It can get inside, it can get outside. So, so many cool options. Okay. Um, so if you want to do to have exact, exactly the same options, just make sure you copy these parameters with angle, this angle and strength. Okay. So when you did that, that's it, guys. Congratulations. No, I'm joking. I mean, we did. We already halfway. Okay, through. So now I'll go to layers and click here, right, and choose convert to smart object. And boom, we are back to normal Photoshop. Yes. <laughs> I remember when I first discovered this 3D, I was like, what is that? How does this thing work? It was so annoying, but then I figured it out and now it's so easy and the same will be for you. Okay. And if you have any questions, just leave them in comments and I will be so happy to answer you. So now, um, the first thing we need to do is actually, as you can see here, we have now less options. That's because we're in 3D workspace. If you go here, press here and here you're going to use 3D. Make sure you press essentials and go back to normal Photoshop. So right now the problem is that here we have this shadow and we don't need it. Okay, we need to delete this shadow, we need to destroy it. In order to do that, you have to click twice here on the thumbnail. When you click twice, we are going to open our original 3D layer. Uh, let's just zoom in. So now if we now we need again the 3D panel that we had here before. Just go to window and here you have 3D, just press it, and that's it. So here we need environment because environment controls the lights and the shadows. Just click on it. And now when we did that, make sure you go and open properties panel. And here you're going to have, first of all, this shadow. Just click on it, make sure there's no shadow. Also, you're going to have this shadow here, which controls the shadow on the bottom. Go to opacity and make it zero. And boom, no shadow anymore, guys. Perfecto. You can also play with this color that, you know, as you can see, it changes the way it looks. And it is also pretty cool. Like it gives extra light, I would say, and uh, something like that should be fine. So now I'll just go file and save this. And now when this is saved, we can just close this. And is the original file is not the original, but the file that we're working on is going to be updated automatically. As you can see, this layer was automatically updated. So now let's close this. Okay. How long is this tutorial already? Eh, seven minutes, not that long. So now let's grab our image and we're not going to create the full project. I will just show you how you can actually, you know, make the 3D layer distorted, make the text distorted, I mean. So now let's bring this down and let's actually put this somewhere here on her eyes and let's actually change the size. So for example, let's just go to edit, free transform and let's make this smaller like this and this should be fine, boom. So what we need to do now, now we need to separate it uh, into different parts. So if you look here on this project, you can see that this knob is actually separated and there's a high probability that I used a different font here, but that's not a big problem because the main thing is that you know the technique, so you can always change the font. So now what do we do? Now we take this tool here, which is rectangle marquee tool. And this tool is going to help us create magic. So first of all, let's, for example, select this part, okay? Now make sure you have selected this knob layer. And now what we need to do, we need to separate this from this layer. We need to create the new layer with this on it. How are we going to do that? In order to do that, you just need to click Ctrl plus J. Or if you're using Mac, it's going to be Ctrl Command plus J. So if I do that, see so what's going to happen. We created a new layer. If I turn this off, you see, now it's separated. So again, make sure you select this layer. Now go here, for example, select this part of the knob and again, Ctrl or Command plus J. And now you can see it's again separated. If I turn this off, now we have these two parts and they're actually also separated. That's what we need. So now we need just to separate all of them. So again, just go here and, you know, do Command plus J, Ctrl plus J. Just every time you do that, make sure you select the original knob layer. Okay. Not this one, not this one, but the original. Now again, do that. Select this and continue like this. So we need to be able to see the whole knob layer at the end when we finish that. So again, just continue. Control or command plus J. <laughs> oh 
come on and the last one boom now we can turn this off and see we have almost all of them right so what we need to do right now for example if i take my move tool i can just press and drag click and drag if i can just so what's okay so you can right now you just have to click and drag them you know in order to create this kind of glitch effect i would say and again the same goes here you just click and drag 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 oh. <laughs> you see Whew. so when we do we do when we did that that took us some time make sure you select this layer the one that is located on the bottom and then go up 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 and make sure you select the first layer but hold shift and then press it like this we are going to select all of them and now we need to you know bring them into a group so we just go and press here and now they are together so if i turn this off and on as you can see they are together and now the last thing that we left to do is we need to create this kind of glitchiness here so now let's go and take the smudge tool if we press right here you're going to have here the smudge tool you can select it you're going to have blur here so just press right and choose smudge that's where it's located so what we need to do first, let's go to layers and create a new empty layer. Just click here. We have a new empty layer just above our group. Okay. Go here and make sure you have sample of layers selected. That's very important. Now, for example, we need to change the brush tip of our tool. So how are we going to do that? You need to open brush settings panel. If you don't have it here, just go to window and open brush settings. And here you have different brushes. For example, you can choose between all of them and you're going to have most likely circle the, the, because that's the default brush but we need actually this brush tip this one okay just select it and now for example if i zoom in let's go to layers and turn off the image that's very important make sure you have selected the empty layer and so and before we start drawing make sure your strength is around 60 percent now for example make sure your empty layer is selected if i start drawing see what's going to happen we see it's kind of like ice cream melting effect which looks really cool and this this is fine but we need to change this a little bit so let's go to brush settings again let's decrease the size and also i want to change my brush tip so it's not like this but it's like this and in order to do that we can just take this angle here and change it and see it's changed now for now i can just do it like this and as you can see it's almost like make melting ice cream and just do this you know on a few layers so something like that This will create our glitchy effect. Perfect guys, that's what we need actually. So what we need to do now is if we select this layer and then hold shift and select the group and press right and convert them to smart object. I want to add some noisiness to it. So if you look here, as you can see, this is pretty noisy. We see a lot of points here. In order to do that, just go to filter, noise, add noise. And now if I add noisiness, look how cool it looks. Amount 30, yeah. You can also make it less, you can make it more if you want to. Something like that. But I'm just gonna make it less like this. Press OK. And boom, how cool is that? <laughs> so guys, that's it for this lesson. You learned tons of new stuff. I really hope you liked what we actually did. You can use this kind of text on any of your posters, on any of your works, and it's going to look awesome like seriously okay just trust me i know what i'm doing that's it guys see you on my next lesson and don't forget to subscribe bye and just a small ad in the description below there is a free photoshop course that will tell you tell you what take you from zero to pro and help you create amazing magical stuff <laughs>